Melodyne is an amazing tool for pitch correction, but did you know you can also use it to correct vocal timing? Well, you can, and it's really easy and it sounds f***ing great. And don't worry, I promise to play a before and after at the end. So let's right click and switch over to the timing tool. Just like the pitch tool, you can double click to snap it in place or quantize to the grid. And it's kind of a smart grid, so even though I have it set to quarter notes, this note falls right on the eighth note and it'll snap it there for us without having to change the grid to eighth notes. Now, if you click from the top or the tail of the note, you can stretch the note from that point. So you could either make it longer or shorter from the beginning or the end. And you'll see if I move the tail of this note, it pulls the start of the note coming up. And that's a good thing because otherwise the notes would be disconnected and we'd be creating weird spaces between them. And so this way we can keep the fluidity of the vocal phrase. Now with time stretching, this is normally where we'd start to hear some digital artifacts, but Melodyne does this so cleanly. And that's why it's one of my favorite tools for time stretching. Now here's a tip that's gonna change the way you time vocals, or at least it did for me always align the vowel of the note, which is not always the beginning of the note. And so if you look at the beginning of these notes, Melodyne has placed a vertical line here, and that's where it's gonna snap to if you double click and quantize. And so that's why I prefer to go in manually and do it myself. Like everything that requires correction, be it pitch or time, the less you have to do, the better it's gonna sound. So you always wanna try and get as close as you can when you're recording. So here's a lead vocal and a harmony track under it that are really close, but could use some syncing. Cause I got a jet black heart Cold as a stone, harder than heart so to sync them together, I'm gonna to go over to the menu on the right here, and I'm gonna hold shift and click on the orange waveform next to the harmony track. And that's gonna pop it on screen, leaving the lead vocal visible so that I can quickly go through and see where the notes don't line up. And now I can just nudge that harmony track until it matches the lead vocal. Okay, so here's that same stack again with the timing of the harmony adjusted to match the lead. Cause I got a jet black heart. Cause I got a jet black heart. 